Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of this series. This time I would like to animate this simple robot arm. It consists of seven meshes, a static one which is down here, then the base mesh which uh, is the master and all the other meshes have to be parented to this one then the movement arm and finally the two hydraulic piston and cylinders one on top and one on the bottom so before I continue let's first have a look on the centers I have already placed these and uh, if you don't know how to place centers, then you must have a look at my previous videos. So press O and make show centers from selected to all. So we see all of them. Then I go to the front view or the back view and you can see where my centers are located. The static one is not of importance, neither is the one from the base. It can be, it just has to be in the middle on a set. No, actually it has to be in the middle on set and X, but the Y position is not important. Here for the arm, the center is exactly in the middle because we will rotate around this up and down. Then for the cylinders, the centers are in the middle and for the pistons, the centers are in the middle as well. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to parent everything except the static bottom to the base. So I select all of these and then move them to the base and our base now looks like this. It has an arm and it has the two pistons. Well this is not quite correct because these two pistons here they are attached to the arm which means we must parent these to the arm. So let's do this like so. After all the parenting is finished and let's just check quickly if I select the base here in item mode then press E for rotate then everything rotates around with the base. So this is good. Let's put it back and now I think it is a good idea when we zero out position and rotation after we did all the parenting then we can if we do a mistake easily put everything back to where it needs to be. But you cannot zero it out here. You must use the zero option down here and say zero to position. And now this is all zero. Let's do it with the arm. Zero to position with the piston. Zero to position zero to position and then for the cylinders the same zero position if you have rotation numbers then of course you would also zero the rotation okay zero position now if we by accident do something wrong for example you know we rotate something and w put it to uh, out of place it is very easy to 
to uh, bring this back, we know now it is zero here and it is zero rotation and everything is back to normal. So this is quite a good thing to do. Now let's have a look. We know rotation is okay. Let's have a look at this arm. So E again and this one will rotate around the Z and you see this is not quite what we need. We must do some rigging first here. So I drop the tool, select always in item mode the cylinder here and shift select the pist piston then make a direction constraint, control Z. But first I turn on compensation. So Modo is calculating the displacements for me. Now I do direction constraint. Now I select it in the opposite way. First the piston, then the cylinder. Do a direction constraint again. Do the same on the bottom here, select the cylinder, shift select the piston to a direction constraint, select the piston, shift select the cylinder and do it one last time. And now this one always looks at the cylinder and the other way around and the same down here. And if I rotate the arm now, this should give us the right motions. So E key and you see here is exactly what we expect. Maybe I can make this one a bit longer. So edge mode, select this W key, but first I must go to edit, action center, selection, W key, bring it up a bit and then edit action center selection off. So we're back to normal and now we can bring this one here down in item mode, E key and move it back till we are zero. OK, now we can start to animate this. First I want to animate the base, which uh, will rotate around the Y. So I make sure I have frame 0 selected. Go to the rotation Y and click in here. Then I go to frame 50 make this 180 degrees. Then I want it to stay there for 10 frames, so frame 60, 180 again, then frame 110. Here I go back to 0 and 120 again and zero again and this is finished. So let's rewind it and play. This is our movement. So stop and play back. Now let's animate uh, the channel from the arm and this one goes around the set. So on 10 degrees I want to have it minus 15 degrees and I stay here till frame 30 and then on frame minus 15 on frame 40 I want to go up to uh, let's say plus 30 
and then on frame 50 I come down to 15 and on frame 60 I'm still on 15 on frame uh, 70 I want to be minus 15 on frame 80 I want to be plus 30 and on frame 19 maybe back to 15 and on frame 100 still on 15 and on frame 110 to minus 10 sorry minus 10 and frame 120 to 0 so here is our complete animation let's see how it looks let's play it a couple of times and let's look through the render camera and if you're happy you can go and render it I showed how to render this animation in my first video I will not do it again so that's it I hope you liked it Thanks for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.